mind. These fools are so imbecilic. How else could I explain how I get it from them? Using my oh so clever ways. Hey, is this the base? Yes, may I help you do? In case you haven't noticed, we want to make a withdrawal. That is not possible. Neither of you have an authorized account here. How is this for an authorized account? Um, terribly sorry, but the bank is now closed. What now, Clam? Do you just that the bank's closed? Hey, how's it about I send wire? Can I do that? The telegraph station is now open. You wish to send a wire? Yeah, a lead wire. Take this, Dan. Dear banker, stop. Open bank now. Stop. Or we blow your brain down. <laughs> Guess what? The bank has just extended its hours. Can <laughs> <laughs> I help you two? Give us all your money. Yeah, reach for the sky! Give us your money. Reach for the sky! Give us your money. <laughs> reach for the sky! <laughs> Thank you.
and there, one of you must sign this with the draw slip. Huh? Why? New rules. Pass by our head of office. No exceptions. Clarity, you bought the slip. Oh, it's your
those bad guys. You know, this reminds me of the time you was kidnapped. What about it? <laughs> they called it the Get Rich Quick Scheme. Uh, uh. The outlaws would soon begin to count the money stolen from the bank. Who said that? How am I supposed to know? Unknown to them, Sheriff Wayne John was sneaking up on the outlaws. Hey, cut that out. We don't want them to know that I'm sneaking up on them. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to spoil your fun, but we got laws against taking money from the bank like that. Well, well, well. If it ain't Calamity Jane. You're right, it ain't. It's Jam. And the schizophrenic kid. Those two hats give you away every time. So what is it to you? You look so much better than what? Well, what do you know? This chapeau really does compliment my coloring. You're dumber than a chicken with its head cut off. <laughs> <laughs> Are you accusing me of having no brains? Now, now, what? schizophrenic kid. It's not nice to hit people. Goodness, I know not what came over me. I know a way to get this nasty woman's mouth shut. Why don't you tie this to her mouth? And then I'll handcuff her to you, and then you can help me bring her in. Splendid idea, Cher. Can you inform us to that strange voice we just heard? Oh, that we call the narrator. The thing is, you don't know when he's going to start the ladder. Mind if I hold this for you? No problem. How courteous. May I escort you into town? How delightful. Yeah. 
your shield. That gives me an idea. What in tarnation was that? Shield break! There's been a shield break! Oh, oh no. no! That's terrible. Is everyone okay? I just, Dudley, are you okay? Sure. I just heard there's been a jailbreak. Go round up Cowboy Bob and the horses. I'll meet you at the pass. Coming up. Go away. Do be careful. That's for luck. Thanks, Molly. If only that contract never said I had to marry Mr. Coltheart. If only I could marry Mr. Coltheart. Huh? Take real hard. Did that contract actually say your name? Why, well, no, sir. It just said a daughter of a party of the first part was of marriageable age. Praise the Almighty for God's new shirt. I have a plan to make both of you girls very, very happy. I know all of you are wondering why we brought them here. It did cross my mind to ask you. It crossed my mind first! So, I said it first. You're quite right, you are. We just need to wait for the others to get here. Who are you? How much longer? Spoken like a true kid. Believe me, the two who are coming are really bad. Why did I hear them now? <laughs> I'm Blackbart, and I'm his brother, Blackbird. Where's Blackbird's part? We're in trouble with Carson City. Yeah. And is that what all over you said? My point exactly. We all have one problem in common. But before we get to that point, we need to find out who we are and what we've done that makes us so bad. I'll start. You already know my name. I brought ten things. You are a lion. I steal horses. That's nothing. I pretend to be an orphan so I can wrap orphanages. <clears throat> Aren't you forgetting something? Oh yeah, I'm kicking. They call me Calamity Jan. It's spelled J-A-N-E, but the E is silent. So don't you go call me Jan. My specialty is conning young men out of their money. I'm a schizophrenic kid. Of course, half the time, I don't know what I do, but when I'm bad, I run banks. Bell Star is my name. I swingle folks out of their money using phony documents. I am slightly dastardly. And I am your leader. Says who? Yeah, we don't even know what you do to be bad. I have robbed the stone of things. I have cheated and lied. I have broken every law of the books. And I talk in class without raising my hand. Ooh, Whoa, that's, that's really something. something. That's great. Don't give me that. Now, as I was saying, what is our most common problem? Too many shares and marshals. Not only that, but the good guys always win. I got the same problem here. I tell you it ain't fair. There are always better shots than you are. They all they always wear those white hats and never and they never get them dirty or never fall off during a flight. So let us help you solve the problem. How? Oh we gotta shoot. There's a problem with that. The government would only send more. Oh, oh, I know. Blow up the whole stinking town. If there's no town, the sheriff has no reason to stick around. A rock once, then it is blown to smithereens. I know. We built our own town without a share. Just one problem with that. What's that? Who are you going to rob? Uh, him. And who does he rob? I'll rob her and take it back again. Hey, I guess that don't work. Just happens to 
be a centennial celebration, filling the crowd with green weeks. Imagine Greenhorn City Slippers and no sheriff around. They will be just right for the picnic. Soon the entire visitors' wealth will be on. Be on strike! On strike tonight! I can show you the folks in the Then, 
you tap me on the shoulder. What is wrong with you? Don't you ever do that to me again, you hear me? I promise, as long as you never tell that tall tale ever again. That was a good one, Cher. Real good. Kind of helped a man check out the loneliness out here. You know, Deputy, there's some truth to what you're saying. We're the law of the only law. And we have to uphold that law no matter what. We can't let a little bit of fear get in the way, right? Oh, sorry. What's say, Doc? Huh? Lost. 
lost, or are you on a trail of someone? I've been looking for a new partner. Ain't you supposed to be traveling with Toto? Sorry, my friend, but his name was Toronto, my ex-faithful companion. So why did you break? I finally understood what he was saying. I thought he was calling me Kimo Sabi, but it turns out he was calling me Unclean and Snobby. I've been seeking a new partner ever since. Well, we wish you luck. We're looking after Snidely, Dastardly, and his bunch. And luck to you, too. Adios, amigos. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. 